How's it going, folks? Antoine here with Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tech, and today we're going to be doing a live preview of the Spectrum TV app. Now, first and foremost, you have to be a Charter Spectrum Internet customer in order to get this service. So, going over the pricing, the price is, pricing is pretty basic. So it's, it's just one price. It's twenty four ninety nine. <clears throat> so I thought when I when I went to call in and to get the service and ask a couple questions, the guy said it was going to be a five dollar broadcast fee for my local channel. So I immediately thought, okay, hang on the cable companies. It can't just be the the service price and taxes. It's got to be the service price fees fees and then taxes and maybe some more fees so you know whatever so tech five dollars on to that if you want your locals just going down so you're going to get you're going to get some pretty decent channels now um i admit that my initial reaction to it was okay just getting off at a bad start but once i got into the app i really found that i enjoyed it so going down here you know you're going to see the channels you get now you can take out Showtime, you can pay extra. You have to pay extra for that, but you do get a, some pretty good channels. You get Discovery Channel, Animal Planet, History, uh, uh, CNBC, a lot of channels. And I'm gonna show you guys when we hop on hop on over to that screen. Now, going down again with the pricing. Now this this price right here, you cannot beat. You get five premium networks for only fifteen dollars. Looking at other other streaming services, you you may pay just fourteen dollars just for one of these streaming services so you getting you getting five for fifteen dollars and that's for twenty four months so you pretty much get them at three dollars a piece so that's that's a good deal right there so going down to the devices that it's available on so it's available on roku roku tv roku players xbox Samsung tv amazon kindle devices it is not available on fire tv just keep that in mind. It's not available on Fire TV, but it is available on your mobile phone. So Android and Apple devices, you can watch TV on the go. Now, as far as cloud DVR, now this this how you know you kind of not dealing with a, a a streaming service like a, a a company that's solely based on streaming because a lot of information that say Hulu or Netflix will have for you is not here as far as how many streams you can do at one time if you have a cloud DVR how many hours you you'd be hard-pressed to find that information anywhere on their website but I will say this um, I was able to stream on three different devices at once so I know I can stream on at least three devices my laptop my mobile device and my Roku player so All right, getting into the channels or the the interface. So, of course, every interface is going to be different, but you know, as far as like the Roku and the mobile device, it's it's slightly different. I kind of like the web version better. All right, so just going over here to the menu, just going over here. So, not too much going on over not too much going on over there. And so we got my library now you there are no DVR functions with this service. There are you cannot unless it's an on demand show. You cannot pause or rewind live TV or anything like that. You just whenever you're watching live TV, you have to just watch it. Now I read somewhere that they introduced the a cloud DVR back in April, but I, like I said, I didn't see anything like that on their website. The guy didn't mention anything about it when I signed up for it. So I take it they do not have a cloud DVR, or I, I'm, I take it they never rolled it out. So just going down through the channels, as you can see, you have plenty of channels, plenty of good channels A and E, FX, Food, Oxygen, Nat Geo, Freeform. And then some of these channels are on here twice. See the HD, maybe even three times. Then you have a lot of locals, Me TV, CW, PBS. That's a good one. So you know the channels are there. You know the only thing to think about is when you go on, go to just think of the service, other services that are out there. So for example, at this price range, you will be looking at Philo, Philo TV and sling tv now 
Philo is going to give you more channels like that's you get 50 plus channels for only 20 bucks a month uh, nobody out there can beat that um, and then with this service as well you you still we still gonna have to watch commercials even on on-demand content yeah, you still have to watch commercials so just going through the on-demand content you can browse by network kids movies you know just the basic you're pretty 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 basic on-demand layout but overall I, I am enjoying the service the only thing the only setback is there's no DVR function for you know live TV settings so if you watch something you can't pause it and just go to the bathroom or anything like that you know you have to you know just keep it rolling pretty much so that is it folks we're gonna go ahead and end this video let me know what you think about the charter spectrum app um, it is mobile you can watch it on the go and one thing I forgot to mention is you cannot access locals unless you are connected to the your charter spectrum internet so if you disconnect from your your spectrum internet you will not have access to local news or whatnot so that is it folks hope you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more core cutter content and i will talk to you